Thames, Dover, White, Portland, Plymouth. Southwesterly, six to gale eight, occasionally severe gale nine, veering westerly four or five later. Rain at times, moderate or poor becoming good. Biscay, southwesterly, six to gale eight, occasional rain, moderate or poor. Trafalgar, in north, southwesterly, four or five, otherwise variable three or four, but mainly northerly in southeast. Drizzle in north, otherwise mainly fair. The last big trip I'd done with Samir was way back in February 2019. And to be honest, a lot had happened since then. Post-pandemic and post-Brexit, the world felt like a slightly different place. And that last trip truly felt like a lifetime ago. So in the autumn of 2021, we made plans for a two week trip. And in the December, amidst the chaos of travel restrictions and seemingly endless PCR tests, I made the 1400 mile solo journey down south to Extreme Majora, leaving the buttoned up UK and its rules and regulations behind. We're on the tunnel and we are away so yeah super excited about this trip um, also slightly nervous I must admit um, got basically a sort of 24 hour solo drive uh, to chip away at now was gonna get the ferry originally but uh, the forecast is savage for this week like 40 50 mile an hour winds out in the Bay of Biscay I don't travel particularly well on a ferry at the best of times so just decided to drive down so I've set off slightly earlier, day earlier than planned and just going to cruise down, going to try and get to the sort of southwest coast uh, of France tonight, maybe somewhere down near um, sort of Bordeaux, Biarritz maybe, something like that. Set the back of the van up uh, so I've got my bed out so if I get tired I'm just going to jump in the back and crash. Best part, two weeks of fishing ahead um, with Samir uh, which I'm really really excited about. I haven't fished with him for three years now and in honesty like it was him really that set me on the course really for for doing more of this fishing and him that inspired me so yeah really really excited about getting out there and fishing with him um, mega excited about seeing the landscapes down there it looks completely wild it looks more like africa than um, the sort of uh you know <laughs> brown english countryside that i've just left behind so yeah really excited um, and yeah a little bit of trepidation as well because it's a big old trip and it's a big old journey but um, yeah all going well should be there by late tomorrow night it is about three o'clock uh, UK time at the moment um, so yeah 20 hours on the road should get me in Thursday evening a little bit of luck Gaz had just arrived in France, and once again in typical Samir fashion, I had done zero prep. With my garage and tackle in the right state, I would have my work cut out to get everything ready in the next 24 hours. But to be honest, none of that really mattered. Separated by impassable borders for the last two years, I had really missed Gareth, and wanted to take him on a proper adventure. When I asked him what kind of trip he wanted to do, he replied with, just show me the real Spain. So that's what I was going to do. Over the next couple of weeks, we would fish four contrasting waters. Knowing Gareth's love for all things cultural and historic, the first half of our trip would essentially be a history lesson of the region. The first venue would be a Roman reservoir. Located just outside of Merida, this 2,000 year old lake originally started life as a quarry. Excavated for its granite and used in the construction of the nearby city in the early first century, its unique stone would be used throughout Roman Merida where the best cuts were preserved for the world famous UNESCO sites like the Temple of Diana, the Citadel and the Roman Amphitheatre. As this city grew to a population of 60,000, the citizens needed fresh drinking water. The Roman engineers built a dam wall along the west side of the flooded quarry in the first century, using an aqueduct system to channel the water down to the city below, thus creating the special and unique water we see today. And we, hopefully, were going to catch some carp from its rocky depths. <laughs> Shine everywhere, aren't they, guys? Yeah, mate, unbelievable activity. Mate, I've never seen this many fish show here. Hopefully which is that, hopefully that's a good thing. It's 
really encouraging because when Claire fished here, she only caught in the mornings yeah. where we see them show. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that point over there looks prime, doesn't it? It's covering, you can fish out here. Yeah, it looks perfect. Cover all that bay as well. And you've got an amazing little village backdrop as well. Let's get our feet in and uh, get walking around then, buddy. We're doing a lap, are we? Yeah. I love it when it's like this, proper big carp jig. Lunches <laughs> everywhere. Miss rolling off the lake. Beautiful colour. Good day to be alive, man. The fish were very active that morning. We even spotted some bubblers in the edge in the out of bounds. But as soon as the sun began to burn the mist from the lake, the show soon dried up. Mate, I reckon we've seen enough. Let's go get the kit, shall we? Three level here, are you? Not a chance. Not a hope in hell. Look at the state of them all. <laughs> it's like a random array of uh, <laughs> misplaced and mishype. Mate, they'll be out there. That's all that counts. Yeah. This seems to be coming a little bit of a reoccurring theme, to be honest. <laughs> We've got time boat up. Only got to drift it off. Good job, we've got two boats, eh, brother? Yeah, otherwise I'll be going for a swim again, mate. <laughs> right, I'm going to grab your boat. See you in a minute, Jay. So, got four rods out in Spain. It's been a beautiful day, actually. Really nice and chilled. Um, hell of a drive yesterday. I think 27, 28 hours or something driving in the end, um, like 31 hours, 32 hours or something, uh, sort of from home with a stop um, and a couple of hours kip down in the south of France. Morning. Um, oh, it is just before 8 a.m. Um, about three and a half hours kip, I think, or something in the end. But um, yeah, feeling pretty good and pretty refreshed, to be fair. Just been and got a fresh coffee from the garage and a bit of breakfast. Um, I'm gonna hit the road, got about seven and a half hours left. So hopefully, uh, should be down in Spain sort of early evening, yeah, just in time for um, a bit of uh, Claire's home cooked food and a little bit of luck, so yeah, let's get on. But um, yeah, actually, it was, um, it was a pretty sweet journey. Um, it's lovely just to see the landscape and the weather and everything change on the way as well. Uh, kind of drove out of a pretty grim, grey, dismal, cold, like English December, and just gradually watched the seasons kind of change. Like, drove back into autumn, really, in like the south of France. Further south um, that I got, like the drier and the sunnier, um, and kind of like the more beautiful um, and incredible the landscape's got. Got a bit of good food down as yesterday evening, uh, good night's kip, got up bright and early, uh, and we got here like just on first light. I reckon another 20 minutes probably, and we'd have been too late. We'd have missed the show completely. Um, literally within 30 seconds of getting out of the vans, we see the first one wallop out. Um, and then for the next 20 minutes, half an hour, probably saw 30, 40, maybe even 50 shows. I don't know, like lost count. Um, beautiful, flat, calm, glassy morning as well. The mist coming up just looked incredible. Just carp like wallowing out everywhere. Um, and then that was it, literally. Like the switch had been flicked, didn't see anything else all day, just apart from one actually just close in down here, but that was it, we'd have missed a lot. So chosen like really nice point, got a lovely kind of vista here, like plenty of room like to cover lots of water as well. Got some rods out really nice as well. Yeah, it's quite nice that, it's kind of just on the edge of the drop. And then it just drops out into the abyss and just gets softer and softer and softer.
amazing castle up on the hill in the background. Samir legged it off, left me with the first one, and uh, we, we thought it was his. Come on, come on. How <laughs> about that? Look at that incredible creature. Really beautiful mirror, um, and a lovely common. It was just the perfect way to end. It's uh, so far removed from all the carp fishing I've ever done before. Oh, it's good fucking... It's got some width to it, man. As if... As if that just... Like, <laughs> imagine if uh, you just catch something really big and special. Just... <laughs>